Social media spurring crime and children are the ones getting caught up in it. Since February, deputies in Randolph County have investigated 11 stolen car cases. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil and I'm Katie Nordine. Liberty Police linked three kids between the ages of 11 and 16 to a stolen vehicle in their town. Law enforcement attributes the thefts to social media trends. Fox 8's Madison Forsey found out what they are seeing online is motivating this bad behavior. Yeah, guns, drugs, and money. Legal experts, law enforcement, and doctors say kids and teens are getting bolder, openly posting all of that on social media. Experts tell us it's a gateway to a spike in violence. It is concerning seeing kids uh, that are younger and younger in possession of weapons. Uh, especially when we're talking about school age kids. Burlington Police Sergeant Justin Jolly says every day in the Alamance Burlington school system, administrators and school resource officers see concerning posts students put on social media. They're putting themselves in dangerous situations. They're putting themselves in situations where they're committing crimes. Law enforcement across the Piedmont Triad has seen kids posing with weapons, drugs or cash, talking about illegal activities, which could happen on campus or in the community. Greensboro attorney Jason Keith talks to young people and represents them in court. He sees them getting desensitized. There's a culture now where it's flashy to have guns, violence, money, girls, um, and it's that age group. It's that 14 to, to 24, 25 year old age group that's adversely affected. Dr. Mitch Princeton says the desensitization is like a chemical. Kids' brains are developing, starting around the age of 10, 11, going up to all the way 25 until it's fully developed, um, where kids are really sensitive to anything that's going to give them a social reward. As the likes increase on risky posts, Dr. Princeton says it leads teenagers to push things further. If kids are already sensitive to violence, already have a tendency to engage in violent behaviors, then seeing depictions of violence, especially if they're rewarded, in some way can make kids more vulnerable. Leading Sergeant Jolly and the school resource officers across the Piedmont Triad to push the conversations with kids further. Williams High School is starting a program called Save Students Against Violence Everywhere. Get a group of kids together to talk about school violence and how to prevent it and how to protect themselves from the violence that could occur in school. And experts say parents can also help stop any violent behavior before it starts by talking to their kids and modeling good behavior, spending less time on phones and social media. Experts say it shows kids they should get their validation and entertainment from other sources.